Oh my god. It wasn't even playing. This whole time I was talking, it was not playing. <laughs> and it was so good, y'all. here I make videos on my journey to becoming an entrepreneur and I am starting a candle business and it has been in a sense super stressful for me not just the candle making process but just the business part of it it's just been complicated um so today I'm gonna explain to you guys because I did talk about this on my Instagram that I am doing basically like a 360 of my business I decided late in the late night hours to um like completely change everything which has been crazy um for me like I have been like if you see my Instagram video I'm actually gonna post it right now camera at someone who stresses you out I have been stressing myself out like I've been stressing myself out because I'm the type of person that I just want things to be perfect and if it's not gonna be perfect it, it needs to be like close to perfect um, and so I have been trying to like revamp um, my business so i just want to let you guys know about the process of me actually switching to something different um i think that this is the best for my company i need to make sure that my company starts off in the best way and in the light that i want it to be in so let's get into this video all right so i'm actually going to switch to the computer um, so I can show you guys why I came about this decision of kind of doing a 360 on my, my, um, my business. And it's better to just show you, okay? Okay. So this is actually, let me zoom in. Okay. Before I get into this, there's a new app. It's called Freeform. Well, I don't know if it's new, but the um when i updated my apple this came up so anyways yeah so this is the jars that i was going with now if you see mind you i don't know what i was thinking when i picked these jars i think i was only thinking of the i think i was only thinking of the colors that's what i think because as you can see, they're different textures. Like these, this is clear, this is frosted, frosted, clear, well, like an amber color, and then this is a matte black. And you know, the only reason why I decided to do this is because I was trying to figure out, like, I'm starting to get into the labels, so I was trying to figure out the color scheme of everything. So, <clears throat> so I put this on here because I, you know, I was trying this freeform thing out and I realized I was like oh my god this looks horrible like why didn't nobody tell me this because I've been posting these jars for so long on my Instagram and no one was like girl why you got so many different shades and different textures okay so I saw this was like nope can't do it so I went back to the website and I saw that they had like um, kind of neutral colors so I'm gonna go down so you guys can see all right so this is actually yeah so these were the neutral colors they had and I was like okay this kind of goes together but I'm not really loving it like I'm not in love with it right so I've been having a um, really hard time with the lids and it's been kind of complicated in a sense of I actually I ordered samples on Alibaba and it's just been super complicated I ordered them last if you saw my video last week was it last week yeah last week <laughs> if you saw my video video last week I showed you guys the order that I received and I was super disappointed I almost cried because I was just I have been just waiting for so long for these lids and it's just so unfortunate that they first of all they came so late 
and I had to deal with so many problems with USPS. And then on top of that, they were they weren't even like the lids that I really wanted. Like I don't like I'm gonna show you. I don't know, and I don't care that the actually let me just take the name off because I don't want no problems. I don't want no problems. Problems. Whew. Okay. So let me show you guys. First of all, I ordered this color, which is can you see? Is it? Is it? Yeah. I ordered this color, and I don't know what this logo is. Like I have no idea what this logo is. Don't know why they even sent me something like this. It's super dingy inside. This was where the um. I'm trying to do like the 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 beauty bloggers do. Is it working? <laughs> Anyway, so <laughs> it has um, like this glue around it, right? Sorry, when I laugh, I sometimes cry. Um, it has like this glue around it, right? And that came off because look, here it is. And then I ordered this one. Well, that's the same color. So I ordered... I'm just going to show you guys the inside. So I ordered this color and I ordered the shiny one. And this is the color that I wanted. So that's the color that you're going to see. It looks a little different, the, the shade of it, because it looks a little antique in the picture. But this was the picture of, this is the picture in there. Um, so let's go back to that. All right, so we still recording? All right. So, I just wanted to see, I know this looks weird because this is a picture of a, of a lid that's by itself, it's not on a jar. So, I just cu cut and copied it and um, I wanted to see what it looked like on the jar and then I made up some like BS type of label just so I could see what the label looked like. And I was like, okay, alright. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then I looked back at it and I was like, wait a minute. I don't really like that. <laughs> I need to go look up, look something up. And I was in, I was just a little too like, um, I was a little too like stressed out about the whole Alibaba process. So I went to another website and let's, let's look at that. All right. So these jars, these jars are beautiful, beautiful. They are, they are so beautiful I still love them I wish that I can purchase them they are very expensive like a ridiculous amount like probably double the amount of the other jars they're super expensive so um and then these are the lids that they came with that they have on the website they have other colors but these were the ones that um, I thought went well with the jar and I was just trying to see if the black looked nice or the gold. But they're so expensive. And I would have to price my candle jar like a, a certain amount for that to work. And I don't want to do that to you guys. Um, even though they are beautiful. They are beautiful. And I'm still kind of sad about it. Because I would honestly, I would honestly get these. <sighs> okay. Okay. See, I'll be going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, but I'm set on my my new path, which I'm going to explain to y'all soon. Alright, so let's go down. I'm going to show you guys the, what I came up with after this. So, <clears throat> this is from, actually these are from Alibaba, and these are ceramic jars, which I haven't heard a lot of people using ceramic as a candle um, jar. So I started looking, doing research about it, and I was like, wow, there's not really a lot of people that are hosting, like, that sell ceramic candles. So I was like, maybe this is a niche that I can get into. And um, so, girl, I was surprised at how beautiful the jar was. Because this is not the jar. This is just the colors. Um, I'm going to show you guys the jar. So I ordered, I ordered one jar and then she sent me, what is it, five samples, five other samples. So I ordered one jar just to see how the jar was because it's expensive to ship. 
from from China. So, okay, so this is the jar. It's a little, I got a little grease on it, I think, because I'm all, I got like, I'll be using body, but body oil, and this is why I gotta wear gloves when I touch the jars, because this is why it looks a little dingy, but. Is it focusing? Okay. So it's, I love it because the, the lid matches the jar, and that's what I loved about it, is that the lid matched the jar, and I just think it's so cute. It's such a cute jar. Um, this is supposed to be black, but it's like charcoal because I believe that um, it's hard to get that that color black into ceramic. I know I was just not looking at the camera. I was looking at the little camera. I mean the little screen. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna try to show this to you guys. I should have did this on the table. Right, I'm gonna show you guys two two at a time for you. Sorry, I actually don't get to if I can show you guys without shaking, because I my hand shake just randomly for no reason. Okay, can you guys can see that? Is it is it is it registering? <laughs> can you see? Can you guys see? Alright, so yeah, they're super cute. I was like surprised. I was like, wait a minute. I thought they were sending me like swatches, like colors, like on a piece of paper. I didn't know that they were sending me little miniature candle jars, which are like the cutest thing ever. Um, so yeah, they're so cute. And these are the colors that I wanted. So I wanted these colors. Um, I wanted to see what they look like. And pretty was pretty happy about that right I was like okay I'm all set I got the color that I wanted because I wanted to see like which green and I like this green because it's like a sage green and that's kind of what I wanted so I wanted to see what it looked like and Alexa stop I wanted to see what it <laughs> looked like so I ordered them and I just thought it was so cute. The person that I was working with, she was so helpful. Um, and I was like really excited. I was like, finally, okay, yes, I got something. I figured it out. Then she hit me with a bam. I asked her, how much can you just give me, can you just update me on how much it would be if I ordered a thousand? And because the MOQ on Alibaba is a thousand, which is the minimum order quantity and so she told me mind you the price on the website was a doll was a dollar 29 she told me that it was going to be 249 and i was like what so mind you 249 you could do math it's two thousand two thousand four hundred and ninety dollars and I was like, what? I was not expecting that. I was expecting to spend a thousand, you know, a thousand two hundred. And I was just like, what are you talking about? And I was like, it says on the website. So we were going back and forth, back and forth. And I was like, girl, like you either going to honor the price that you have on your page or I cannot do business with you. So she tried to pull like one of those things where she, I'll let her mellow in it. So she didn't respond. Now I used to work in retail okay I used to work in retail um, for I worked in retail for like 10 years so there's a lot of in, in different companies and different companies have different sales tactics so you can't fool me on a sales tactic I knew exactly what she was doing she was trying to let me wallow in it and I was like I'm not wallowing in anything I, I am going to go with the price that you put on the website because that's why I clicked on your page because of the price so you can't change the price now because I'm or deciding to order after all this time after getting the sample after all like and now you're gonna tell me that the price has changed no so I decided to she she actually it took her a day to respond back she finally responded back and she said that the lowest that they can go down is um 215 or something like that 
And I was like, yeah, that's not going to work for me. I was like, I'm sorry, I'm not just not going to be able to do business with you. Because you guys are not sticking to your word. You shouldn't have, I told them, you shouldn't have that on your page if you're not going to abide by that. So anyway, long story short, which this story has been long already, um, I decided not to go with this, which sucks because I actually really like these jars. Like, I do. I actually really like the jars. I think they're so cute that the color matches. So, not going to go with that. So, I basically decided to make my own jars. What y'all think? <laughs> I know, it's so crazy, like, I'm like, what am I doing? Like, what am I doing? Like, am I making a mistake? I don't know, whatever. So, um, originally I had wanted to make my own jars. And I thought, you know, maybe that's not a good business decision, so I went with trying to find my own jars. But since I have so such specific tastes, and I don't like certain things together... It's very difficult for me to work with distributors and make everything perfect the way that I want it. Even the colors. Like, I needed certain colors that they gave me to be a little bit lighter, a little bit darker. And I'm like, how am I going to do that? I'm going to have to send them, like, a patent color. And if they don't get it right, I'm going to receive a thousand of these jars. And what am I going to do? Like, I'm going to be upset that I even purchased them. And they're not the color that I want. So, I said, I can make this jar, which I can make this jar. This is ceramic, but I real I found out that not a lot of people use ceramic for a reason because it's not strong enough. Um, so, I'm kind of happy that I bought dodged this bullet because cement is a lot stronger. So, I'm going to be using cement which is what majority of people that make jars use, um, they use cement. So I have purchased, I purchased actually a mold that looks exactly like this and has this lid and I ordered it actually yesterday. So I'm excited. I've been doing a lot of research about it. I'm going to insert a picture here because I want you guys to see what a cement jar looks like or concrete um, cement jar looks like and uh, well it's similar to this it really does kind of look like this it's just not as shiny but it looks like that um and I'm excited about it because I'm like I get to make like the color that I want I get to like experiment with the color that I want um I do have a time limit that I have to abide by because I have to launch before the summer. Um, so I ha that's why I ordered everything that I needed to order. I had to order the colors, the pigment for the jars, um, and I ordered the mold. So I ordered two molds. I need a total of five in order to like mass produce. Um, at some point I'm going to need ten, but they are $80 each. They're $80 each, and the lid is like $40. So, it's expensive. It's not it's not cheap for the mold. Um, but, I am going to be making them soon. So, my next video hopefully will be that. Or you guys will still, still, still see me using those jars that I have before. I actually wanted to make a candle with this jar. So, I'm going to probably do that. Um, and... I'm, I'm still going to be using those jars because I figured, you know what, I can use those jars to like kind of test out the scent. Since I already know what temperature that jar works at, what wick that jar works at, I can just test out the scents. Instead of wasting the concrete jars, which are probably hard to like clean out, I'm sure, I don't know, I haven't tried, but I'm going to be using the... Oh boy. The joys of living in the city. Just get this beautiful ambiance of music all the time. <laughs> oh, boy. I live literally right down the street from a police station and a fire station. So. So it's just been 
So between that and this one, just open the door. All right, so what was I saying? See, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, so my next video will be that. I will be testing. Oh my god. I thought they were done. Another bunch of them are coming. Anyway, so I'm going to be using those candles to test out scents. I have like, I think, five more scents to test out. And then I should be good. I literally loved every scent that I made last time. And they're all mixed scents except for one. So I completely am in love with those. I feel like those are good. Um, and I just want to test out five more and then I should be good on like the first batch of scents that I'm going to launch and then in the summer I'm going to launch summer scents so um, yeah guys so I hope you guys keep staying along with me on this journey this has been a little bit of a misstep well uh, maybe not a misstep it was just like you know it's just me growing in this journey and I'm just trying to figure out like where my business is gonna go so and it does take time like I'm trying to rush it so I think that's I, I was trying to rush it before so I think that's why I kind of when I took a pause I was like wait a minute something ain't right you know like this ain't right this is not this does not look right we gotta we gotta fix this so I'm going to be showing you guys that and oh wait you guys i did not show you my shirt which says all shapes beautiful all shades i got it actually from target and um target has this really amazing thing where they do on black history month where they incorporate so many different um they incorporate so many different black business owners, which is so amazing. So I got this shirt. I thought it was so cute and it matches my nails. <laughs> my legs are coordinated. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm glad you guys stuck this long with me. Um, it's going to be an amazing journey continuation. So if you are not subscribed please subscribe to my channel if you like this video please go ahead and click on the thumbs up i really appreciate you guys i will be showing you guys my next video soon so click on that notification bell and it'll tell you when my uh, my next video uploads i will see you guys in the next video bye